Cadaver is a movie about the importance of wearing masks. Hi guys, I'm Gasha. Welcome to the channel and welcome to our Coffee Times. Today we're here to discuss Netflix's new exclusive horror movie, Cadaver. This is a Norwegian horror film that just dropped today on Netflix, so I had to watch it and this is gonna be the spoiler-free review on the film. This is one that I was excited about because the poster and whatever I had seen about the film really sparked my interest. It looked really dark. It looked like it had kind of like a really dark topic and I'm all for really dark, you know, disgusting or kind of messed up movies. And it was in a way, but it was not as strong as I was hoping it was going to be when it comes to showing a lot of horror. So it was not kind of scary really but I really thought it was interesting. Before we dive into the movie and if you love horror and movies and collectibles please consider subscribing to the channel and also hit the notification bell. In Cadaver we meet a small family that is trying to survive the aftermath of a nuclear disaster so we are kind of in a post-apocalyptic scenario for the first like 15 to 20 minutes. This family is seeking refuge in an apartment building. Everything has been destroyed. There is nearly no food left at all. So they are really struggling. That is until one day somebody announces that the wealthy owner of a hotel has prepared a very fancy event in which they all can attend. They will all receive a meal as well as they will be able to see a show, a theater kind of play. So of course everybody is really excited. Nobody thinks that there is a secret agenda. Uh, they just assume he's just generous like that and decide to join including our small family. Now he does keep his promise everybody receives a really fancy meal when they get to the hotel and after that the owner of the hotel receives them and explains the rules of this play that it's going to take place in the hotel. They tell them that they all have to put this mask on and they can just wander around through the hotel because the whole show it's just gonna be all throughout the hotel so they just have to walk around and enjoy the show. Now this movie was not perfect uh, but I did think that it did a good job when it comes to creating an atmosphere. It is a movie that could actually take place anywhere. I don't think it has particularly to take place in Norway. It's also a situation that could happen anywhere. We have a nuclear catastrophe, a nuclear disaster that has caused a post-apocalyptic world and basically you get to see that for like the 15-21st movies of the film and I just felt like it was just rushed because I just wanted to get to the part of the hotel which is actually what the movie is about. Um, and so I just wish that we would have got a little bit more of explanation on how we got here, <laughs> what happened, because that is never fully explained in the film. At the beginning of the movie, we get to see really dark rooms. Everything is dark outside. The atmosphere is really like creepy. Um, we get a lot of cold colors, a lot of blues, a lot of darks. And as our family gets to the hotel, then those colors start to turn into warm colors. We get uh, browns and yellows and reds. And that is kind of like the, the heavy contrast. Again, I think this movie is kind of like a social commentary between, you know, rich and poor and the division of class and everything like that, which we have seen done before, um, especially in Snowpiercer that I absolutely adore, which is another one that has kind of like the same topic. Um, but this movie brought something a little bit new in which it created this game in the hotel. So it was kind of like a fun house kind of situation in a way. And I think that's why I ended up liking it a lot. As our characters start to wander through the hotel, we have the impression that this hotel is huge, it's kind of like a maze. And of course, there's, they start to do some gruesome discoveries. One thing that I thought it was really interesting was that the little kid that we follow, um, she's called Alice and she finds a plushie that it is a bunny. And they do reference Wonderland plus 
Um, she kind of disappears in the hotel, so people start disappearing. That is kind of part of the pitch of this movie. And so Ellis kind of goes down the rabbit hole in a way. <laughs> I'm really stretching it, but it's kind of like, you know, how in Alice in Wonderland, when Alice falls down the rabbit hole, she realizes that the world is mean, that nothing is like it seems. So I wonder if they were kind of going for this type of metaphor. Another thing that it's not quite explained that I thought it was a little bit weird um, is that our main character, Lenora, the mother, she at some point starts to see things that we don't know if they're really there, like is she hallucinating, is she not? And that goes on through the whole movie and it was never explained why and why only her. So that was one of the topics that I was like, I wish that they would have given us some kind of explanation because it felt like it didn't have any purpose at all. Like if they wouldn't have done it, the movie would not have changed at all. The movie does a great job, especially at the very beginning, to kind of keep the viewer guessing what's going on. You, of course, have the feeling that something in this hotel is no kosher, that's for sure. Um, but you still don't know exactly what's happening behind the curtain until at some point everything starts to be like so obvious and of course did i guess what was gonna happen yes i did have i seen this topic done before yes i have but i still really did enjoy it especially the acting was good i th i love the whole you know hotel and the visuals in the hotel and how they did it um and how they told this story which is also kind of like i said kind of criticizing this whole class difference you know rich and poor and what would happen in the aftermath of such a disaster as a, you know, a nuclear kind of war or something would happen like that, what would happen with this difference of class. Um, so I would really definitely recommend you to check this one out. I think that they did a really great job. So I ended up giving the movie a solid three out of five stars. I thought it was very strong. I kind of would have liked it that they would have gone a little bit more far into the messed up, disturbing parts. We do get to see a little bit, but not as much as I would have loved to so that the movie would have had like a bigger impact at least for me um, it did combine a couple of different genres in a way and I really did enjoy the atmosphere and what they did in the different rooms and the hotel and all of those things um, so this was a spoiler free review nothing that i mentioned is really a spoiler um i would really like to know you guys what you thought about the movie once you watch it and like i said even though it does feed from other movies i still really enjoyed it and i thought it had kind of like a little touch of something different um even though it's predictable and everything but I really enjoyed it. All that being said, I recommend you this movie. I think it is worth a watch. So let me know down below if you have watched it. Are you planning on watching it? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. Please let me know also which one has been your absolute fav favorite Netflix exclusive horror movie. Thanks so much for watching you guys as always. I really appreciate your support. Please give the video a big thumbs up. And if you want to follow me in other social media, as always the links are down below. And I hope to see you all in the next coffee time. Bye!